Welcome, I'll be reacting to Black Sails, Season 1, Episode 4. In the last review, I asked, who is that woman with the swords who is so terrifying? It's Anne Bonny! How did I not figure this out? And of course, that made another connection for me, which is, if that's Anne, and that's Jack, that's Jack Rackham, Calico Jack, which went over my head these first three episodes because, you know, Jack is like one of the most common names of all time. And I must have missed Rackham somewhere. There's so many names being thrown out all over the place. I've actually started a notebook because I couldn't keep track. This is like Game of Thrones. Mind blown. Okay, and Bonnie and Calico Jack are in this show and that was th that was this the whole time I did not know this this means we're getting Mary Reed right don't tell me no spoilers this brings me to the perfect segue to talk about spoilers in a fiction history fusion show like this one it's a little bit more gray than simply don't talk about the future because technically the future has happened meaning it's the past timey wiminess for example, I know what this devastating trio is going to do in the future. In history, that doesn't mean they're going to do it on the show. So I'm going to please ask you in the comments, you may love pirate history. That is awesome. You are fantastic. You're probably one of the coolest people ever. Please in the comments, only talk about what has happened up until this temporal point in the show. I know that I normally jump right into the reaction, but this is so important because I've been having a lot of trouble with it already in the comments. For example, if you really want to talk about Mary Reed, that's great. I love her. However, please don't do it until she, or if she, I don't know, appears on the show. With that very long preamble, and thank you so much for listening and not posting spoilers in the comments. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original on stars. As you know, I've been asked to serve as captain of the Ranger when next we sail. Obviously, that means less time spent with you, idiot. Yeah, Billy. Love it. Where do we do the tipping? Wherever there's plenty of rum. <laughs> <laughs> as always, the ship's account is open. And Mr. Simpson's buttered oranges are on their way. Buttered oranges? What about the fuck tent? That's probably something we can discuss. Mr. De Groot. I ask for time to find a more suitable beach. And delay our efforts by how long? Yeah, you do not have that much time. Yeah, quick question then. Where are we on the issue of the fact hit? Yeah. This job oh is going to happen. We're back to this again. Perhaps we can all agree to forego, you know, just this once, a fuck tent. I don't think they will. That's a lot of long faces there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is what I was looking forward to. What say you, Mr. Quartermaster? You think it's a good idea? Yeah, I think the captain knows what he's doing. That's not a yes. Begging for their lives. Spare us, and our fortune's yours. But that's when the screams began. All those men we lost, taken her, they died, so Flint could settle some personal vendetta for her. The painting was of the Hamiltons, right? Maybe I'm seeing connections that aren't there. However, I wonder if that couple was the Hamiltons. Because I read to him? It's all shelf full of books. Why'd you have to read him that one? The painting is in the background. Flint is sitting there and the painting is there. Is this show giving me conspiracy theories? Anyway, I feel like there's a connection. Things will get better here. I promise you they will. I'm still getting the idea that they care about each other, but they don't really love each other. At least not anymore. Fuck you, Jack. He's trying to help you. He could just go off on his own, which actually he really should at this point. 
fuck the captains and fuck anyone else who doesn't like the way I manage this place. Eleanor, you're on shaky ground already. You need their trust. What we're about to attempt with Captain Bryson, it is very risky. And I know you think you cannot take no for an answer. We must let him go. And the guns, Flint needs. What about them? We'll find them some other way. You need to listen to him. The problem is Eleanor tends to make very emotional, spur of the moment decisions, which means she's just a genuinely passionate person and that's totally fine. However, in this situation, she needs to use her head, really think things through. I am worried she's going to just react. Ready to raise the keel. I think we might actually pull it off. You had to say it. Now you're not. I know this is Max's livelihood, but this is a lot. She thinks she's working off a debt, and it's, to me, taking it a little too far. Anne is not okay with this, I don't think. Parting Bryson from his guns, however, will require some convincing. A lot of convincing. He tied into the wrong fucking tree. Yes, it matters. Jesus, fix it, will you, please? <sighs> no, it needs to be on the other tree. This is all going to unravel. The ship is going to fall. Oh, my God. over, Randall. Oh, I was so worried about this. Not the beautiful ship. Why stick with him? Yeah, it's a good question. No, it's not. What, you're angry with me too? Do you have some problem with us holding onto that whore? Yeah, she does. You do realize she's the only thing keeping what's left of our crew at our side. I couldn't leave it to chance. Eleanor, what have you put into motion? But I couldn't let him leave here without giving up those guns. I'm sorry. With everything we've been through. No, you betrayed him. You've been making some poor decisions lately. I'm disappointed too. The guns are yours. But their relationship is irreparably damaged by what she did, or almost did. At this point, I think Mr. Scott should be put in charge. I'm sorry, Eleanor, you've, I think you're better as second in command. He always keeps his cool, he thinks things through, he's logical, and things seem to be a bit more democratic in this general society. So that's my vote, Scott for a leader. Not just to end this insanity to contend with what comes next to keep her safe take out flint i don't envy you help me mr scott please help me save her from herself i love her hat in this scene well, hello i am here for it oh no the wind in the palm tree oh no no, 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 no. All hands. Not the cat. Do not leave the cat. Yeah, palm trees do not have a good root system. Oh, thank, at least the cat is safe, but poor Randall. He was grumpy, but he was a good guy. <laughs> Your belt. Give me your belt. There's no other choice. <sighs> Ship seems okay. What are they talking about? Well, they didn't hear much. It sounded like they were talking about a woman. Somebody Barlow. John said, give me a couple of weeks. Maybe we'll kind of get along and you won't want to kill me. This right here is exactly what he was talking about. He's managing to get the captain on his side just by telling the truth, keeping his eye out, trying to be helpful. I love harp support. That's such a beautiful sound, unlike everything else. 
The portrait in your room depicts you alongside Lord Thomas Hamilton. Tragedy that befell his eldest son. At sea. Exile in this place has been less than ideal. Indeed. But perhaps it's time you were offered a hand and a return to civilization. He's going to include her in his plan. It's a far simpler backstory than what I would imagine. However, it definitely explains a few things. I still think that she has become an intelligencer just because of her circumstances. However, I could see a new life in Boston really having a lot of appeal to her because it, it is so uncivilized out here. I exposed you. The weakness behind the mask. You could take this whole fucking island from me. If only you weren't so goddamn afraid. <laughs> I think that was the pep talk he needed, though. Miss Guthrie should have just had you killed. It would have been more merciful. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you're all done for now. He's back. Penance for my past sins. Good works. And they begin tonight. Ooh, we're going to see part of the plan now. I didn't expect it this episode. I think this is the only gun you're going to see. Why don't I take over? Mr. Guthrie told me I was to see those guns off with my own eyes. I understand. <laughs> They're taking the island. They are cast out of this place. Soon. And for good. What are we going to do? Get them back. They're going to take the ship. But how? This was a jam-packed episode. As fun as the outrageous plan is to take the treasure ship, there are so many things that could go wrong. I'm actually completely with Eleanor's father on this one. High risk, low potential of success. Flint is very charismatic, so he's really easily able to convince people to his side, like Eleanor, just by his mere force of presence. Mr. Scott was already not really on board with the plan. He was like, okay, well, I mean, we'll try, but let's not get too involved here in case something goes wrong. Whereas Eleanor was just all in. We have to do this or all we'll be lost kind of a thing. The moment when he realized she had lied to him, I knew like, that's it. There's no going back to what they had. That was a huge betrayal. And one that he specifically warned her against doing. He literally said, don't do this. And she went off and did it. So we have that whole plot line going on. Meanwhile, we have what's left of the ranger crew scattered about and poor Max. I'm pretty sure this is the moment Anne and Jack are going to go on their own. And I'm pretty sure they're going to bring Max with them. Although we just saw Vane kind of come back into his own and take all those guys out. So he might instead appear back as his old powerful self and basically reform the crew. The problem is they're now trapped in the bay. There was a circumstance where the pirates got trapped in the bay, kind of I'm trying to remember the details about it, but I know Vane was involved because he, he was a real captain, I'm pretty sure. At least he corresponds to a captain by the same name in the same area and era, so I'm assuming it's him. But I thought that was 1718. However, remember what I said about this being a fusion of fiction and history, so maybe they're just gonna do it now. I'm here for it. I was figuring, oh, it'll be like three seasons, if you're thinking about a year per season. I think he lost his sloop when the British came. He had to find a new ship? I have vague recollections of this. So that's another theory I have, is that his group of ne'er-do-wells will escape in a different ship. The British are definitely coming. I think we're gonna get some really cool battles next episode, which I am so excited about. I love the character development on this show, how they're really going deeply into each character, even though they have a massively huge cast of people. It's so easy for everyone to just kind of 
turn into set dressings if you have too many characters around. But so far they're doing a great job of kind of pulling each person into the limelight, showing us something about them or telling us something about their backstory. I at least feel pretty connected to everyone. Randall really impressed me as well this episode. He seems to be kind of a heart on your sleeve kind of guy. Like he just says what he's thinking and feeling, which kind of puts people off a little bit, but also I feel like you could trust that kind of person to be telling you the truth. And then when he went after the cat, I was just like, I mean, he basically almost died because of the little cat. And I'm like, on the one hand, that's terrible, but also cat. He's the character I think surprised me the most with how much I like him. He kind of reminds me of Styles a little bit in Horatio Hornblower, anyone who has watched that. So at this point, it's like, if anyone hurts Randall, like... So far, this show has really balanced the intrigue, action, romance, history tie-ins, and just general coolness factor of pirates pretty well. And everyone is saying the other seasons get better. And I'm just like, I'm happy where we are now. Like if this show just stayed at this level, I'd be like, 